What the heck is up you guys? It's your boy Ace aka Animated Heroes here back with another pre-order update video for you guys and today we've got a few things to talk about. Now in my opinion a lot of the figures I'm going to discuss today are major L's but me being the one to inform you guys I'm going to talk about them anyway. Now honestly two out of these brands I really don't even discuss but a couple of you guys on Instagram wanted me to talk about them so that's what I'm gonna do you guys already know how these videos work go ahead and drop a like for your boy that always motivates me to keep bringing you guys this content and let's get right into it starting off with Marvel Legends now unless I'm trolling there is two brands that I try to stay away from entirely that is Hasbro and McFarlane but every so often they release some fire and I just want to discuss it. Shout out to Wayne Collector for this image. We did get some clear images of the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse 2 wave. I'm still not going to go see the movie, but there are a couple of figures in this wave I want. The Spider-Man 2099 included. Now, the main one that I wanted to show off was the Miles Morales because... For some reason, it looks pretty good to me. At first, I wasn't digging the images I saw a couple of months ago, but this one looks very nice, and I was really convinced about it until I saw this. Oh. <laughs> and at that point, I was just like, no, no, Hasbro, no. This is what I call over-engineering to the maximum, and I feel like they probably would have been better off just giving this figure a diaphragm joint and leaving the rest alone because I really hate when the articulation breaks up the aesthetics this bad. Like, this is just not good at all, man. And I don't even see myself having fun with this figure looking like that. Uh, I might pick it up to review it. Who knows? But honestly, I can't say for sure. Because in the words of the great Marvel Legends collector x Man 87 Marvel Legends fans ain't even claiming this figure, so if my friend ain't claiming it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be claiming this guy. Now, since we're talking about Maz Morales, I'll go ahead and move on to the next Marvel Legends Maz Morales figure that was announced. It is the Spider-Man 2 Maz Morales from the Gamerverse wave, and honestly, this looks like it's the exact same figure. I'm pretty sure that it is. Hopefully, they will at least give it a different paint scheme, maybe a darker black with more saturated reds. I feel like that would make the figure pop a little bit more and might make it look a little bit nicer. Now, of course, they did change the electric effect hands. Instead of yellow, they are now blue. I don't know why they did that. I wouldn't think that his electrical attacks would change color in the game. I don't know. We haven't seen any videos or footage or anything, any kind of gameplay. So we'll find that out in due time. But I think it was kind of pointless. Now, maybe this is their way of trying to get you to buy this one because some people might say, oh, I like the blue better. Me personally, I'm always going to like the yellow better when it comes to the lightning or electric effects. I just think that's better. Now, one decision I hate that they made was the fact that they took away the unmasked head sculpt and they gave him a cat accessory, which, I mean, honestly, this is something they could have just thrown in and then also thrown in the unmasked head sculpt. I feel like that would have gave it a little bit more more value because I, I don't know man I hate when they take out accessories and swap them with others and then on top of that they increase the price I guess this guy's like $34.99 or something like that I don't know I'm not picking it up but also it does come in that same packaging that you guys hate the windowless packaging so um if you are planning on picking this up make sure you check your boxes before you check out at the store now for this next section of the video, if you are a Mezco fan, I highly recommend you either skip past this part or click off this video because you're probably finna get mad. This is a figure I really did not want to discuss, but a friend of mine was begging me to talk about it. Even though I thought I said everything I needed to on Instagram, here we go. Mezco solicited their Spider-Gwen or Ghost Spider from the 112 Collective line. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not about to sugarcoat it. This figure looks bad, man. This thing looks as stiff as the back of a 95-year-old man. Like, this, this thing looks bad, bro. I'm sorry. There is nothing about this that looks good. First of all, the posing. Most of the poses that we saw on this, on any of these promo images... I can do myself. 
Isn't she supposed to be extremely agile and spider-like? This figure just looks bad in any pose. Like, look at this running pose, man. Like, what is this, bro? This, I'm not about to waste my time talking about this too much. It comes with a few accessories, uh, several sets of hands, web accessories, some little portal looking effect, and some other stuff that I mean, I guess makes it look cool, but I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys, man. Mesco needs to step up their game when it comes to their female figures. This thing is not worth $105, and if you spend your money on this, I get it. If you're one of those people that has to have every Mezco figure, by all means, man. But you couldn't pay me. You couldn't pay me to review this figure. You couldn't pay me to have this in my collection. This thing looks bad. Anyway, moving on. From here on out, we'll be talking about action figures that actually caught common W's. Starting off with SH Figure Arts. They solicited the Android 19 figure. And this is right on time because I am currently re-watching the Android saga of Dragon Ball Z. I literally just watched the episode where Android 19 got bodied like two days ago. So my nostalgia for this is already up. Now, y'all know I'm not the biggest in terms of collecting the Dragon Ball line, but I think I might grab this one because let's keep it a buck, man. First off, this thing looks really dang good. And he comes with, I believe, five facial expressions, some maniac looks. He comes with the looking to the side expression. He comes with his battle damage look when Vegeta just beats the brakes off him. He even has the footprint on the face, yo. And to top it all off, he comes with an extra face for Vegeta. And you can get him in the pose where in the English version, Vegeta says, never say die when he's trying to absorb his energy. Like, yo, this one, again, it could be nostalgia from just re-watching this arc. In a couple of months, I might be like, why did I pre-order that? But right now, I want this. Now, you guys already know this was expected, at least for me. This is a premium Bandai exclusive, meaning you can only get it from P. Bandai and Hobby Genki. Um, I knew that was going to happen, so I'm not surprised whatsoever. But look at this thing, man. It can pose. It looks good. It looks like he walked right out of the anime. He is slated for a November release. And this is one that if you're building the Dragon Ball collection, come on, pick it up. Android 20 is definitely coming soon. Now, last but not least, we have the Mafex or Metacom Toy Star Wars Battlefront Revenge of the Sith Mandalorian Clone Wars. I don't know. Y'all know I don't know Star Wars. But we have the Mafex Bo-Katan, I think is how you say it. I don't know, man. But... This figure looks sick, man. I don't know what it is, but this is the type of figure I... Some people about to get mad at this, but this is the type of costume I'd actually use in Fortnite or something. Like, this outfit looks fire. And honestly, as a figure, this is one I would really love to army build. I'd love to have like four or five of these. It looks really good. She comes with some Star wars -y accessories. Uh, I don't know what none of this is, just some guns and stuff like that. Uh, she doesn't come with the uh, lightsaber or light, is it lightsaber? The saver? I don't know. Uh, she doesn't come with that, so I'm assuming she's not a Jedi. But again, uh, it looks dope. From what I'm hearing, people are saying that the uh, the head sculpt is very accurate to the actress, so that's a good thing. Uh, and... I still don't think that this figure is worth what it goes for, though, because this one is going to be 80 bucks, and that is before taxes and shipping. So if you're planning on importing this, it's going to be a figure that's well over $100. And if you're picking it up domestically, it's going to be $100 up front, and that's before shipping. So, whoo. It's a bit pricey, but again, I'm definitely going to be picking up at least one of these and then if hasbro made any versions of it i'll probably pick those up for my army builders it is slated for march of 2024 you guys know how that goes that probably means it's coming out like late 2024 uh, it's not coming out in march but uh yeah looks good and if you're a star wars fan i would imagine that you want this right
So there we have it, another pre-order update video for you guys. And honestly, not the most interesting news in my opinion. You guys already know what I'm going to be picking up and what I'm not going to be picking up because I told you. But I do want to know what you guys are interested in and what you plan on getting your hands on. I already know y'all not going to get that Spider-Gwen, so <laughs> let me quit trolling. Let me quit trolling. Y'all, for real, whatever you plan on picking up, it's entirely up to you, man. This video is nothing more than an opinion-based video, so you guys know how I am. But I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, as that always helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new content. And last but not least, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of YouTube. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe wherever you are, and uh, bye. <laughs> Believe that Spider-Gwen where it's at. <laughs> Ha ha ha!